Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I thought I started something different. Um, I was browsing some Reddit, which I usually don't. And I thought it'd be funny to go through some cringe TikToks. Um, my definition of cringe, I mean, it's still, a lot of these stuff is still cringy. It's just, uh, I find a lot of it's <laughs> funny because it's pretty funny to laugh at. Um, so something that I would say is truly cringe, like actually makes me cringe, um, I'd keep as a separate tally. A lot of these, I'd probably say, are just dumb or just really lazy, I'd say. So, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see how it is. Like, no the fuck we're not. And you know why I know that? Because we're just going to say no. Like, how are they going to actually <laughs> force us to get <laughs> This is what I mean. This is, this like is pretty that, funny. Like the 1940s. I mean, he's just oblivious and dumb, but... What else is there to do in 1940 besides shoot people? Okay. We have things to do nowadays. Yeah, it's not like there's a bisexual, economy still check. going, you know. Alive. And there's still stuff that needs to be really manufactured, built. I have like six of these. It's what not that much different from nowadays. Gun, like, within 600 feet of anybody, including myself. And finally, like, guns are like so tacky. Like, can you imagine just okay. like, pulling up with a gun? Like, that is so fucking embarrassing. He <laughs> said it's embarrassing. <laughs> I think guns were <laughs> revolutionary. I mean, in the in sense of war. I mean, uh, you got the original like warfare where they had muskets, and I mean, they stood side by side and just one by one just kept dropping each other until like nobody was there. Which I mean, that was obviously horrible because there's more casualties like proportionally to like the war. I mean, I mean that's how we got guerrilla warfare. I mean, and that was revolutionary. In the war uh in war so i mean i don't know i don't know how it's cringy or tacky or son but i mean we don't have to fight with swords anymore knives get up personal with it all right let's see this next one whoever fought for There's no way this is real. She looks like she's laughing. She she's trying so hard not to laugh. Yeah, that that was it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh man. To talk about underarm stigma. Oh no. Even though I haven't shaved my armpits in ten years, I sometimes still get self-conscious showing my underarms. When I'm feeling the urge to shrink myself okay, and hide parts of my I don't body, want to see this. I stretch my arms out wide and remind myself to be free in my body. Be free. Dub right. is reminding us all to stretch our arms out and live life to the fullest with their latest subway campaign. Did you what? know that 50% of people say that they've judged themselves because of their underarms? I don't even... Did you say subway? I'm so confused. Okay, well... I, I don't even want to finish this. I'm, I'm just going to keep going... Some of these are pretty long. I don't even care to watch it for that long. I'm done with your stupid water. <laughs> I, so far, I want to say these are like super cringy. They're just, they're so dumb and kind of funny. Like, this is like a 30, 40 year old dude. I, I'd be embarrassed to do that. Like, I mean, it's not that cringy, I guess. I mean, is that her actual husband? I guess is that supposed to be cringy? I uh, just don't really care. I don't know. Chris, come on, bro. It's a girl. Come on, bro. It's a girl. Play D. All right. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. See, like, I don't get why this is on here. I want to say this is really cringy. This is just like, I mean, maybe it's because of the messaging. I don't know. It's just a dumb clip people come up with. I want to say it's that bad. I'm on drugs. I'm on pills for God's sake. Like, th this is this is cringy. That 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 was cringy. See, that that that's a stark difference from what was right there. <laughs> Fishy flaps. 
Oh no. I'm Ronnie Atkinson, and I'm here to take Tracy to the movies. Nice to meet you, Mr. Johnson. I won't touch her, I promise. This this guy's definitely at work. <laughs> I just can't imagine I just can't imagine coworkers doing this. I mean, I'm always usually just working when I'm at work, so it's like I, I just don't I can't imagine having the time to goof off through things like this. This is just embarrassing. In public, no. No shame. Just just no shame, I guess. Honestly, I don't even know if all of them are copyrighted, but I, I just kind of don't even want to take the risk because, I mean, I don't know if I can trust it. Um, these are just idiots. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is just sad in its own right. I mean, they do with serial killers too. Um, I mean, there's always just somebody in society that's just going to be breaking the social norm. And just wants to do something like this. I don't know. To stand out. To be different. I don't know. Be quirky. I don't know. At this point. It has a song. Inter. <laughs> so it's like. She looks like Egyptian now I guess. I don't know. That's just interesting. Oh man. Honestly, oh, I think I just realized. I okay, all right. Well, I, I just now realized that. Um, that took me a second. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just. I'm actually just more confused of what's going on right now. I am. I am so confused. Like, I mean, some of these are cringy, but the, some of these are just like weird. <laughs> just like somebody reposting like the entire clip oh my gosh in, like a dark ass room or is that just the way they cropped it i think it's the way they cropped it yeah they did a really bad cropping job you see the outline of the tv and there's everything's pitch black who's doing these oh the turret crap what is that noise? Oh, is that... Is that what... This, this... I don't even know. Is it a guy or girl? This thing is making... Uh, uh, I'm so confused. I oh, they had to censor that stuff. It just sounds like a moaning. I think it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Damn. Why do I feel like he's British? <laughs> I feel like this could easily been me if I grew up like nowadays, just because it's like it's so easy, like to do this stuff. Like, I mean. I'd have a phone until I was like seventh grade. I mean, now it's like kindergartners having phones doing this type of stuff. I could definitely see um, why it's a lot easier nowadays to be posting this crap, kind of crap. Yep. And then. Itchies, huh? Okay. And then you got these anime people too. It's just the problem with this is I mean, when you do this, you're recording it and documenting it for ever, pretty much. I mean, you're never going to live it down. And, I mean, yep. this guy's got to live with this. Yeah, it's news. Yeah, <laughs> Man, I, that just that just sucks to be stuck with uh, this on the internet forever. Oh my gosh! Yeah, when TikTok first came out, this was the peak of the cringe. I'd say. Like, now there's a lot more normal content. I don't even use TikTok, but it's just uh, from what I've seen, because my buddies use it. 
and other people using it uh it's a lot more normal now it's kind of like how you have youtube shorts that are more normal and then you have <laughs> some things like this <laughs> Like, yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Like, pretty much every video was like that. It was almost like Musical.ly. Musical.ly was the ultimate, like, I feel like cringe platform because that's all it was. Like, TikTok was like that at first, but now it's at least have multi-usage. I mean, you got live streaming now. Pinky doll ice cream. <laughs> okay. The, it's the stinking, uh, what's it called? The TikTok uh, live um, What was it? The NPC trend. That's stupid crap. That is just embarrassing. That's right. Look at me. I've seen this guy a few times. I mean, kudos for them to playing into the meme. They probably get some views and probably get some money from it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how being a lol cows provides. That's something I don't care to do, but. I mean, if you want to keep posting, then you do you. <laughs> I want to see your cheeks glow red, red, red. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, here's that PC crap. Mm, ice cream so good. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, I can't even watch. It's just, it's just so boring, first of all, and second of all, like, like, I, I just don't get what you get from this. I mean, like, genuinely, what what entertainment value do you get from this crap? I mean, I'm getting more entertainment value scrolling through this fucking Reddit page than watching that for uh, 50 seconds is too much. I don't even know if these are all copyrighted. Ah, <sighs> See, this is just more like young kids doing dumb stuff. He's probably like Gen Z or younger. I mean, technically, I'm Gen Z, but I'm just on the older scan, like higher end, and I'm 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 nothing like this. So this is just what trashy tattoos. Oh, Trinity. Okay, interesting. You want to be different so bad? No, I would much rather fit in and be liked. But there's something okay. wrong with me. Can I can I show that? I mean. Like, uh, that, that's straight up a dildo. Like, a really big one. Like, oh my gosh. Why would you post that? Well, I mean, like, why? I just can't imagine, like, employers seeing this. Or just, like, a family friend or something. Like, your own family seeing this. And you're the one saying that you're not trying to stick out. I mean, it's just, I mean, complete opposite of what you're doing, but that, I, I don't know what I'm to say. Okay. Well, I mean, was it just Skull Trooper being freaky, I guess? I guess that turns him on. Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Is this that father son cringy duo team? I think it is. Yeah, I've seen these guys a few times. This just feels like more like an act. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I mean, I don't know their personal lives, but that feels more like an act than something they're doing all the time. I mean, I could be wrong, but I mean, like, like look at look at this. Like, it looks like satire. I mean, that was just whatever the f he was doing. Uh, mom and her son first, but now I'm confused. Are they boyfriend girlfriend? Oh, I think they are. We <laughs> say mom and her son. I mean, I don't say. I don't know. She looks like she could be old, but not at the same time. It's probably because of drugs, but I mean, they're probably both on drugs. But I don't know. Oh no. Okay, yeah, all right, we're, we don't need to go on, get, you know, you know this guy gets so pussy, I mean, like, who does that, who does that, and we're, especially records it, POV, we get home, yeah, right, okay, that, that, that's just embarrassing, I don't even want to 
click these links. I don't trust that. This is just a normal TikTok. I say, I mean, it's cringy in its own right, but it's nothing compared to actual cringe. Oh no. What? Is this real? I didn't even know there was an Asian Heritage Month. Is that racist? I don't know. Whatever. Oh. Oh, looks like we finally reached the end of uh, the nope category of that. So, I mean, <laughs> I guess we made it to the end. I mean, I didn't check through every single second of everything because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of boring. I'm going to say a lot. I'm just going to say a lot of this cringy content is just boring other than it, like the ones you can laugh at. But, I mean, in that case, it's just like, I'd rather watch something funny, <laughs> like actually funny. I mean, watch a comedian, some memes or something and said this crap. But I mean, you got these people posting their content. So, I mean, you got to share it with the world, I guess. So, I mean, thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to see what other Reddit stuff I can find. I think it'll be pretty fun to check out also. So have a good one, guys. See ya.